Hi everybody, Andy Lightbody, Rocky Mountain Television. We're shooting for BigFishTackle.com here at the ICAST 2011 show in Las Vegas. Now, if you just saw the preceding segment, we talked to Chris Nelson from the Ono Group, who actually is the one that is going to be, well, manufacturing, promoting, and obviously everybody going to be wanting their Ernest Hemingway designer glasses. I got a rare privilege to be sitting next to this gentleman. This is actually Ernest, or Papa Hemingway's son, Patrick. Patrick, I mean, wow, Dad was bigger than life, wasn't he? He certainly was, but he was, he was very conscious of that we only have really one life. How did, he one had a say. only life. Is that what he said? The yeah, one? one and only life. And he said, the other thing he said is he never missed a sunrise. Now, I don't think that was literally true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I read some I of the books. I said, I've read some of the books. I know he was still sleeping it off at some of those points. But, yeah. but uh, it did highlight the fact that he felt that you had to get out of this life if you were going to get into this. Mm -hmm. This was the one that was important. And uh, I, I mean, he lived really a legendary lifestyle. I mean, he was one tough son of a gun, you know, and I cleaned it up because he, he would have said it another way, but hunter, fisherman, uh, freshwater, salt water, he did it all, didn't he? Well, I'll tell you one way that he was tough, and that was he was really a very good boxer. Really? And he actually would box with people like Gene Tunney. I mean, you know, yeah. he, 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 he was, and what, he was not a person to insult in the bar. I mean, if you... If You'd you be would, waking up on the you, floor, you wouldn't you? were on the floor before you knew what hit you. <laughs> <laughs> talk a, let's talk a little bit about, you know, everybody called him Papa. That's the way I, you know, when they say Ernest Hemingway, I immediately say, oh, Papa Hemingway. Well, we called him Papa. His kids called him Papa, which is not the usual uh -uh. way you call your dad here unless you're an immigrant. But he... Uh, Frank Kappa, the, the famous photographer, when he was in Sun Valley doing a shoot for Life magazine, uh -huh. and we were all calling our dad Papa, he said, Let, can I call you Papa too? And my dad said, all right, if you want. And that's when it took off. Is it really? Yes. And it stuck yes. at that point. I think it was one of those shoots that was called Life Goes to a Party uh -huh. in those days, you know. And I think that's when it started, really, there in Sun Valley. Papa Hemingway. In your dad's day, he didn't have these kind of sunglasses or access to really much of anything like what we're seeing today. Well, you know, what do you think of this? Well, before you had Polaroids, they had dark glasses, but they didn't really do much for you. But if you're a fisherman or an outdoorsman today, the idea of not using Polaroids is just dumb. I mean, you're, you're, you're burning your eyes. Not only, uh, I mean, you want to protect your eyes for sure, but also you see it so much. You can't better. see anything. Yeah. Uh -huh. With Polaroids, you can see down into the water, which you can't do other You had a hand in this. Are you happy with this? Would Very. your dad be happy with this? I think with the, with the styling and the quality of the lenses, everything is outstanding. That about says it all, doesn't it? You know, the, and the different styles. I mean, these are well, these I, are cool looking. I mean, yeah, and I think it's, it, you know, it, it's, they're not specifically designed for the ladies yet, but some of the some of the more color models, I think, will also appeal to women. Dad would be happy. Dad would be happy. Well, as you can see, there's various styles and things like that. We talked a little bit with Chris Nelson about some of the styles, the availability, and it's kind of nice to see that the legend continues, you know, with you being here, well, I'm looking I, at, I'm oh, liking yeah. everything that you're I seeing. I really do like what I see. Outstanding. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We're live here on the floor. ICAST 2011.